All right, right now, gonna go be moving trailers with the uh, skid steer. So, tag along. All right, here's our uh, our trailer attachment. It's got a pinnacle hook on it. We're gonna have to go swap that out for a two and five sixteenths inch ball. This here's the trailer we're gonna be moving. Looks like somebody's already been messing with it. It's a cam split tilt deck. Someone's adjusted it too tight. Come down here. Turn that down. Much better. This handle's supposed to be out, but it looks like someone didn't want to do that. All right, make sure that's latched. All right, so when you're hooking up to a trailer, a lot of people don't even like lock it in. Like using the trailer lock. They just attach it. And this is when like a uh, like your, a regular skid steer would work. But the like I said in my last video, the open cab works for trailers if you lock it because then you can get out. Because um, if, if I put it in place, put the ball in place, your arms, your lift arms would be too high. So then it'll, uh, you won't be able to open the door and get out. So with the open station you can hook it and lock it and that's the safest way to do it i don't understand why people don't lock it because that trailer you hit a bump and that trailer is flying off and could go whatever way it wants to also i think i mentioned um in my last video it's it's also easy to use uh the mini tracks track steer now you want to use something that's heavy you don't want to use like an mt55 i've tried using those um but it's just too light and the, the rear end just picks up right away. So you'll make sure it's unlocked here and then you're ready to go. Now, like always, you wanna to try to be square up with the trailer when hooking up to it. That's basic, you know, practice. things go missing all the time uh you want to make sure uh, your trailer definitely has them though like that's just basic trailer ownership all right so instead of cranking this all the way up okay. so all i did was remove this pin and slid it up.
picking up a trailer while you're going forward. So, like in a typical instance, like with the trailer the way it is, you'd be in your truck facing the opposite direction what I'm facing now. So when you're driving it, it like it's a lot easier with the skid steer stuff like that. It's actually pretty fun. One thing uh, you will have to consider is the attachment you're using, depending how long the tube is, uh, can bend easily. And that's what happened with this one was it was longer. It got bent um, because of how long it was and the leverage that was on it from a uh, trailer. Um, so we had to, the guy I work with had to cut it and shorten it. So, if you're going to be buying an attachment to use with your skid steer to move trailers, uh, I know they make ones that are shorter, and those are more sufficient. Um, you know, you're less likely to bend and break stuff, given the shorter distance of the tube. I think that'll probably take care of uh, today's video. I just wanted to, I had to move this trailer around and I wanted to make a video because I know some people have never seen it done. I know I've never seen it done until I got a job here, but it's definitely pretty cool. It's pretty fun, um, especially if you get a bunch of them that need moved. I mean, I love backing up trailers. Sometimes guys are into weird stuff like that. So make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Take care. Have a great day.